Oh, hey, y'all, everybody, and welcome to this Wix uh, Community Roundtable. I'm your host, Brett Harrelson, and today we're going to be talking all about the Wix Multilingual and updates. Joining us from Wix is the entire Wix Multilingual team. Hey, everybody. Hey. Welcome. So let's, before we jump into Wix Multilingual, let's first do some intros so everybody knows who you are. Kareem, uh, Kareem will you kick us off? Yeah, sure. So hi, everyone, live from our houses. <laughs> uh, I'm Karin. I lead the multilingual team. Oh, uh, Ronnie. Oh, sorry, Ronnie, Dead. go ahead. Hi, I'm Ronnie. I'm the UX designer of multilingual. I know Dad. Not last. Hey. Not My name is Odette. I'm the product manager at uh, Weeks Multilingual. So you, multilingual is, is something that I think a lot of people use. And I know we use, I use it a lot. Um, you guys have been cooking up something, Kareen, and, and I know everybody's really excited to see what's coming. So and I know you have a presentation for us. So let's jump into it. I'm going to give you the stage and everybody, uh, this is Kareen and here we go. Thank you, Brett. Okay, so what's on the agenda today? Uh, we'll start with a short overview uh, with the uh, Big Multilingual uh, app. Uh, then we will skip on to the latest features that we've just released, especially for you guys. Uh, we'll show a live demo and then we'll have some time for a Q&A. Okay, so let's just start right away. Uh, some important facts that uh, we would like to share regarding the Wix Multilingual app. So, um, we support over 100 languages uh, in our product. Uh, you can add as many as you want to your website. Uh, really, really exciting news. We've just added a few more, so we've now support more than 100. Um, the fact that you can uh, design once is actually uh, really, uh, I think that the thing that would happen before multilingual, um, you know, you should have like uh, create two separate sites to buy two different domains uh, to design each one of them uh, according to whatever you want. So uh, with Wix multilingual, it is very important to understand that we keep the same layout for all languages. Okay, meaning that if you move one component uh, on the stage over the editor, uh, it will be moved to uh, uh, in all languages. So um, actually, we see it as a benefit. So you just design once for all languages. Um, as I mentioned, you manage one site on one domain, which is very cost effective and also easy to maintain. Uh, SEO for languages. You can actually customize SEO settings for each uh, language which is awesome. We also now support subdomains, which is also awesome for uh, SEO. Uh, translate that's a huge over feature. the that's, that's I, huge. Know, I know. Yeah. I know I'm going to talk about it later with our latest features. Um, uh, another important thing that you can actually translate over the editor. Uh, you can localize the site media the, to change images, background video and format per language. Uh, so for each language, you can actually have like not only different content, but also like different images or different background. Uh, we've just recently all, uh, released the Google Translate feature over the editor. Uh, we're going to show it to you later. Uh, mobile compliance, obviously, uh, uh, we uh, support mobile. Um, so within our latest features, uh, I know that you're all being asking regarding verticals in multilingual. Uh, so it's true that you cannot translate the entire site yet, but wait for it. We are, uh, for now we support Wix stores, Wix events, programmary chat and payment methods. All this you can do in our TMS, as you can see on the screen. This is our translation management system at the back office where you can translate all your store products, uh, all your events. Um, you can do it for each language and go live with it. Um, we are planning to release soon the blog and the members area, and we're also cooking for bookings, so wait for it. 
SEO, SEO, as I mentioned. So we replaced the query program by supporting the new subdomains, uh, which is awesome live uh, and uh, released to all users now. Google Translate over the editor. So it's important to mention that Google Translate uh, support um, only per component, meaning that you cannot translate the site with a click of a button, which is also one of the features that we're now cooking. Uh, but as for now, uh, you can use the, the Google Translate feature uh, per component, both on the editor, as we can see here, and over the TMS. Uh, this can actually help with expediting the process of translation. So we really believe in this feature. Mobile web. So uh, um, lots of users were, were, were asking to customize the language menu on mobile. Uh, it's now live to all. Kareen, I think we sure. need to go back one slide. I, I want to spend just one more second on that slide because that's pretty important. When you are actually, now, now what are we looking at here? What is this? This is our store, right? Right, this is our store. Yeah, sure, go ahead. We're Sorry. not in the editor, you're in the store and in the back end system, you're able to translate right here? Mm-hmm, so we thought about uh, if, for example, a user have like 200 uh, products in his uh, in his site, uh, we believe that the best way to translate is uh, to keep it not on the editor and to have like a separate translation uh, back office management tool for this. So you can just run on it on in batch and translate it all once because at the end it's all about translation and we want to keep it as fast as we can. I, I think this is where we drop the mic and end the transmission because that's pretty impressive. That's pretty impressive. Thank you, Brett. Thank you. Uh, I will just mention that this whole TMS was built on Corrib, which is also amazing. Wow, wow. <laughs> okay, so uh, last but not least, the auto redirect. So uh, now we, uh, we allow users to automatically redirect visitors based on their browser language. Uh, so in case your browser language is um, Spanish, users will just redirect to there, uh, to the same language for Spanish. Um, okay, before we dig into your questions, and I know that you have tons of questions. They're coming in. We want yeah, okay. We want to show you how it actually looks like in a live site. This is a site that I've created for myself. Party multilingual, yeah. So we have the language menu here. And as you can see, it all happening on the same site. And if I go to Italian, Everything is to Italian. That's Let great. me scroll down. We have events, we have stores. Yeah, I was gonna ask for those store items and event items that are, you're displaying there that have also translated into Italian? Right, and these are all, okay, let me go back to Italian. Wow, that's-, that's... The events and stores are all happening at the back office. So it's so super easy. You don't need a piece of code. You can just do it real quick to have a multilingual website and pay for one domain. That's, uh, that's, pretty, that's pretty incredible. If y'all have any questions, now's the time to be dropping them because we're gonna start circling through some. This is, this is really amazing. So in the updates, I kinda wanna, I kinda wanna go back to that real quick. Um, you said what were the what were the features that you are in the that's in the pipeline? Okay, so blog integration, members area integration, bookings integrations, uh, um, restaurants, all the verticals uh, at Wix. Uh, we really want to cover by the end of the year, hopefully. Um, translate the site with a click of a button. So uh, once you install Multilingual. 
within a click, uh, the snap. site will be fully translated. I know that sometimes you cannot rely on uh, machine translation, but it actually expedites the process of translation. So then you just go and edit, edit it manually. Um, we have so many features coming along, but it's great. let's say let's give some time for the questions. It's, it's really great. We do have some, and I'll jump to some. Robert asks a great, a great, great question. His question is, what happens if you, <clears throat> what happens if the translated content is larger than the design for the, for the main language? How do you handle that? Ronnie, you want to take this question? Yeah, sure. So uh, currently we don't support uh, two, two different layouts. It's one layout for each site. And it happens a lot that after translation, the content is much larger and than the original text. So you can still adjust the content. You can still adjust the text. We support formatting so you can change the font size. You can edit the text and everything. But yeah, but there are pros and cons for having one layout. But uh, you can still adjust everything. That's a good good answer. Thank you. And thank you for asking oh, that, Robert. Oh, go ahead. Also, just one, one more thing. We also alert when people are trying to move things over the editor. We also alert them to, to understand that the, all the things that they're doing affecting all the else. So that's also something new. Perfect, perfect. I've, ex I've, I've experienced that. So um, thank you for that. So let's, let's jump to another one. Quentin's got a good one. Uh, it's it's going to be a little bit of a technical one, so let's get ready. Uh, he's one of our Corvid masters. Will you support multi -language, a multi-language store with Corvid? So for right now, the API returns data in the main site language, but not in the current language, even though there's a translation available. Is that on the roadmap by any chance? And do you understand yes, what he's asking? Yes. Yes, yes, it is. We are going to support it. We promise. <laughs> Very good. It is on. Unfortunately, that I don't have ETA for this. Uh, and there are some uh, workarounds that uh, maybe uh, we, we we can do. But I, I know, I know, like uh, I know it's necessary, and we're going to uh, uh, to deal with it also, also with Wix data, everything. Perfect. Wait for it. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thanks for the question, Quentin, and, and thank you all for answering. I'm going to jump to one from uh, Words Wales. He wants to know about uh, language in two different directions, specifically like English and to Hebrew. Uh, is is there any any tips for that? Well, Dad, you want to take this one? Sure, I will try. There's a little bit of background noise. Uh, so yes, we do support uh, uh, all kinds of languages on the same website. I know the uh, challenges that we have with uh, right to left and left to right languages. We do have some workarounds using COVID and uh, we are now working on uh, more easier ways to implement these uh, solutions, which we are expecting to have later on this year. Good answer. Thank you. Thank you for asking and thank you for your answer. So uh, one, one, I think everybody's super excited about the blog. They're super excited about that. I think that's a hot, hot item that everybody's talking about. Uh, and I know, you know, we at Wix, we never say exactly when anything's coming, but is it, would you say that it's in the higher priority list or? or? It, yeah, I will say that I can actually say that we have a fully product ready. Okay, and we just need to uh, send it out uh, uh, to development. So we're done with the product and the UX and everything. We're in the last stage. Um, I believe that uh, with blog is a bit different from all other verticals because uh, blog is not mainly about translation. You know, it's uh, mainly like if you want to write a blog in Spanish, for example, it's just writing it all over again, okay? Uh, I can tell you a small secret that compared to what we have now, like stores, events that are on the translation management system, we actually thought to bring multilingual into the blog section so uh, users will not be confused when they, uh, uh, when they create a multilingual blog. Uh, so, I really don't want to uh, promise anything, but um, by the end of the year, it's there. 
It's like, coming. It's being cooked. It's yes. And uh, just like everything else at Wix, anything that we cook, we cook it right. Okay. <laughs> thank you for that. Um, and thank you for your question. I'm going to jump to one from, and we probably have time for three or four more. I'm going to jump to Nayeli, uh, the code queen. She wants to know if they're currently using custom code Wix store products to display on a repeater, will this also be translated? Is that possible? Brett, this one is to you. Oh, well, uh, Nayeli, the answer to that is yes. Uh, and, and, and what people don't know is that we have switched the uh, partner community site is multilingual and you can actually have two different databases linking to a repeater. So if you do stores from a database, I don't know if you can convert. Now, this is a question to you, uh, uh, your team. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can translate uh, two different data sets or translate it on the fly. Uh, if that would work, then yes. I don't know what you yeah, have cooking. There, yeah, there is a workaround with like duplicate. It's not that like, uh, uh, you know, that easy. But uh, there is a workaround of like doing it. Understood. Understood. Okay. Great question. Um, and thank you for that, Nayeli. So let's jump. Oh, man. There's, there's everybody I think is really, really excited about this. Um, everybody's really excited about this. So I'll, I'll, take, I'll take maybe, I'll take maybe, uh, let's take a couple more. Um, Michael wants to know if you, you can change images to localize the site, but is it possible to change strips? Ronnie? So no, strips uh, you can change. You can change backgrounds, you can change videos, and you can change images, but strips, as I recall, you can change. Okay, well that, that just answered his question and his follow-up, so uh, awesome answer, Ronnie, and thank you for the question. Michael, I think this is really informative. Um, I think this is this is really amazing, and, and it's good to see so much efforts being done on this. And I know there's so many people who make multilingual sites, and it's so important. And I love the fact that it one site it's just one site with multiple languages. So it's you guys have come leaps and bounds. This is such an amazing product, and I love I love the back end how you can translate within the back end. That's outstanding. That's outstanding. So uh, I think we've I think we've hit all the things we needed to hit. We've taken some questions, and I want to thank the Wix team for being here, and I want to thank the community for coming. So thanks, everybody. We want to thank you, thank you, thank you, Brett. Let's keep the conversation going. I'll make a post, and if you guys have any other questions, will y'all be around to answer? For sure, thank. You. Okay, we're gonna put this all on you, Oded. It's it's all on you, buddy. <laughs> okay. No thank, thank you, everyone. Thanks, everybody. Thanks. Until next time. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye.